Second Lieutenant Doe, and today I'm going to be your guide into becoming an officer in the United States Army. Today we're going to be talking about the green to gold path of becoming an officer, because I will be damned if I let a single one of you become a stupid college boy. Now, first step, express interest. Hmm, maybe I do want to join the Army. Maybe as an officer? Hello, son, I heard you wanted to join the Army. How the hell did you get into my house? That's not important right now. Listen here, do you really want to be a member of this man's army? Yes, I do. Do you really wish to be an officer at the top? Yes, I do. And then let me show you how to do step one of joining the military. First, you gotta express your interest. Now, we are going to be following the journey of little Johnny. Who the hell is talking to me? Johnny, shut the hell up and just go talk to the recruiter. Okay, okay, jeez. Hello, sir. How are you doing this fine evening? I'm doing good. I'd like to learn more about the benefits of joining the Army. Well, for starters, you get some free Medicare, free, ed free education, and a pension as soon as you leave. You also get a huge bonus that when you, when you join, keys to a new car, and all the girls will be all over you because they love a man in uniform. Hmm, I don't know. Will enlisting help me get to be an officer faster? Well, Johnny, let's look at the three options to becoming an unglorious officer in the United States Army. Path one is the Reserve Officer Training Corps, or otherwise known as ROTC. To go to ROTC, all you need to do is apply to a college that has one, and if you have an Army ROTC scholarship, the Army will pay off your bachelor's degree and you'll be commissioned right into being an officer once you graduate. Oh boy, that sounds like something I would do. Now hold on. The thing is, if you happen to flunk out of college or you don't graduate, your scholarship is null and void and you are left with all that debt. Then I don't know uh, about that option. What are the other two? Well, now see, Path is what we call West Point. West Point is one of five, count them, five national academies used to commission officers into the U.S. Army. Once you pass their rigorous application and sacrifice a goat to get in in a demonic ritual, all you have to do is go through four years of military school and you will be commissioned right into the Army. I don't really feel like going through all the politicians and getting involved in that stuff. What's the last option? Path three, my path, by the way, is called Green to Gold. Now, this path involves you enlisting as a buck private. And then while you're still a private, you go ahead and take advantage of the free education while you're getting paid, no less, and earn your bachelor's degree. Then, when you have your bachelor's degree, you can go to OCS, and then, after a few weeks, you will be commissioned as a second Louis. And then you'll have prior enlistment experience, which means people will actually listen to you. And you won't be a laughing stop. Gee whiz, I like the idea of Path 3. I'll go with that one. Man, I'm ready to enlist. Alright, just sign here, here, here. Put the, name, put the date there, put your uh, middle name there, and sign there. Alright, now all you have to do is MEPS. What's MEPS? What are you looking at? Well, Johnny, MEPS stands for Military Entrance Processing Station. It's where you get ready to go to basic training. At MEPS, you will take your physical fitness test, take the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, or ASVAB, and talk to a counselor about your future in the Army. And then after getting shots and passed a bunch of drug tests, you'll finally take your oath of enlistment. Usually, after MEPS, you will ship straight off to basic. Basic training is split into three phases, red, white, and blue, like the flag. During red phase, Johnny will be going through a lot of yelling, a lot of pressure from his drill sergeants to quit. And this is to help him get used to a military environment, a very controlled, very destructive, very terrifying environment. Private, 
What is that on your shoulder? Yes, Joe Sergeant. That is not a yes and no oh, question, David. I you asked you what the hell was on your shoulder, you stupid bastard. I can't that believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't believe I made it to the place where I can't during this phase, you will learn how to march. You were on the right in the back, you were going too slow, and I don't know which one of you was singing at a tune, but that shit stops now. Do I make myself clear, Private? Yes, Joe yes, Sergeant. Sergeant. All together, maggots. Yes, yes, yes Joe Sergeant. Sergeant. And you will learn everything you need to know about how to be a basic frontline trooper. The green crayon is the tastiest. After the red phase, things will start to cool down. In the white phase, you will learn how to fire the weapon and how to perfect your marksmanship. Screw this. I'm out of here. And you will learn how to maintain your weapon as if it was the most tender relationship. This is a weapon. This weapon is your life. In fact, this weapon is not only your life, it is your wife. And if you are lucky, it will be the best wife you are going to get because it is the only wife you are going to get. This is the only thing the army will ever give you that will keep you warm at night. This is the only thing the army will ever give you that will make you happy. And by the time this is done, you will be know this weapon intimately like you would a woman because this is the closest to being intimate with a woman any single one of you will ever get. During the final phase, known as Blue Phase, you will be doing the final rite of passage of any soldier in the U.S. Army. During this phase, you'll learn how to throw a grenade, And how to fire a machine gun, and not to mention some basic survival stuff. Now, after you finish basic training, you go on to step five. Graduate basic as a buck private. Now, as you can see, Private Johnny is now all done up in his uniform, looking great for Uncle Sam. I said in his uniform, looking great for Uncle Sam. As he finishes well, basic, Private, his drill instructor gives him a good hard look here. and wishes good him well pass. in this man's army. Apparently. So I wish you all the luck in the world. But if I ever see you on my base, if I ever see your beat little eyes again, if you even come within the same state as me, I am going to get out your ass and in your skull. You want to make myself clear, Private? There he is, sir. After he graduates from basic, Johnny can now take advantage of the education he has been given. He takes his time off, studies at a local college, and earns himself a bona fide bachelor's degree. Well, also keeping up with his duties as a soldier in the army. And that completes step six. Get yourself a bachelor's degree. Let's fast forward a couple years and see where that gets our young private. Once more, sing a song. Ah, yeah. Johnny has progressed quite a bit. Now he's a staff sergeant, addicted to nicotine, and most importantly has a wife of five years. Looks like the army is for Johnny. All Johnny has to do is go to the officer candidate school, and that we will cover in the next video. Damn it, logistics! Here's a quick run around. All right, <clears throat> here's a quick run around via narration. He goes to officer candidate school. He relives basic training with some officer skills involved. He camps out in the middle of nowhere for a week. And then he returns with some butter bars on his shoulders. Now Johnny is a fully commissioned officer. This is the army. Be happy you got the first half of the video. I'm going for a smoke.
you want juicy fruit or bubble or hubba bubba? Hubba bubba private juicy fruit is for the <laughs> 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 <A> shit master. <laughs> 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 Looks better than the giant 38s on my shoulder. I am channeling. I am channeling the power of Michael Jackson. Do you understand me, private? <laughs> <laughs>